Higgins in the studio from CrossFit. Jeez. Hey. It's like a, it's like a cult, this thing, this CrossFit. <laughs> I've been hearing about it forever. A lot of friends in the CrossFit. My buddy Dell just trying to get me down to CrossFit. What do you think is making it so so incredibly popular and really almost like a cult status? Well, <laughs> we say it is a cult, and it's a good cult. You do say it's a cult. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is. But, you know, it's really hard to explain, like, to, to answer that, that exact question unless you have That's experienced it. That's the same thing Jimmy it. Jones said. <laughs> well, really, when you come in and you experience it, I was just explaining this to a new person the other night, and she was like, you know, they were trying to get me in here for all this time, and then I come in and I and I got it. You know, like it's just this vibe, and we, you come in and everybody's doing the same workout, and it's competitive, but it's friendly competitive, and you're all having fun, and you're throwing stuff around, and yeah. it's just I think we make it fun. You know, yeah. it's a fun workout. The the formula seems to work. It seems like a really good formula in that everybody can use a little bit of encouragement. I mean, if right. you're, if you're riding the bike by yourself, or you're lifting weights by yourself, or you're doing sit-ups by yourself. You know, there's a point where you eh, it's enough. But right. if someone's standing over you with the right, proper motivation, you're going to do more. If you do more, you end up more fit. When you end up more fit, it, it, it has this perpetual kind of motion exactly. to it. Exactly. Well, I think there's so many successful aspects of CrossFit in that it is it's that competitive nature of it. And then um, we do. We have coach, coaches around, and everybody's doing, you know, everybody's working together. And it's because it's fun, and it's, it's an environment where, you know, you're, you're doing everything for time. And, um, and, and what do you say to the person that's out there that says, like my wife would be this one, say, I'm not competitive. I don't want to compete with people. I mean, you must hear that. And, yeah, and, come on in and see. And it intimidates <laughs> people, right? People think that they're not competitive until they get themselves in that that's environment. Exactly right. And you know what? That's totally fine. We have people that just want to come in and get a great workout, and there's and that's absolutely there for them, too. And I, you know, personally, I never even considered myself like that. I, would, I had no problem getting into the gym, being motivated, going in there, doing my thing. But... As soon as I stepped into CrossFit, it was just a whole, it's just a completely different environment. And you just can't really even describe it until you're in it and you're doing it. And, you know, even for me now, somebody that I didn't think ever needed somebody else to kind of motivate right, me. Right, No, I know you've been, do, you've been exercising yeah, all yeah, your life. Yeah, a long but time, yeah. yeah. But it's so, it's so awesome to have somebody there going, come on, pick up that bar. Come on, a couple more. Come on, just do, do yeah. a little bit more, you know. And I think that's why it's so successful because we get such – incredible results so you just can't you yeah. can't argue with the results that you get and it's because of all the the aspects of it we do everything from gymnastics movements to body weight movements to olympic movements so it incorporates so many different things right. um so many general physical um fitness skills you know agility speed endurance power so we we cover everything uh -huh. there's not it's not like we're going in and we're weight training or we're doing cardio or doing anaerobic it's it incorporates everything, and that's what I think creates such a fit model person, uh -huh. really, you know. And so it, it just makes you better for whatever sport that you're doing. Yeah. Todd. I, think, I, I, do, I do think that that's a good point, that if money was no object, I know for my own training regimen, I would have a trainer. I'd have a trainer that could motivate me because I know my workouts <laughs> would be better. And that's kind of what the, what the general idea was, I think, in the concept, was that you could take a group of people and have one trainer that's kind of right. going around and working stations. Right. And, and, and keeping people, you know, at, at optimum optimum performance. Right. You guys are doing a um, an open gym. Yes. And, and, and what is that? So open gym is on Sundays at 9:30, and it's and it's twofold. It allows current members to come in and work on a goat, work on their weaknesses, or basically just do what a lot of people do in a regular gym, socialize. Uh -huh. So people come in and they do what whatever they want to do, um, and it allows potential new members or people that just want to kind of check it out and see what CrossFit's all about. They can come in and um, we have a scheduled class for them. So we have something put together so they can come in and just try it out for free. All right. So, Good. I like great. it. So um, anything else to add about CrossFit people? I mean, I guess the location, if somebody wants to come in, because in the health, in the health club business, that's always the case. There's people out there. Um, I used to own a health club on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And I used to always be so frustrated when people would say, um, oh, I got to get in. I, I'm, I'm, in t I'm not in good enough shape to go in there. It's like, well, you're never going to get in good enough shape if you don't right, go in there right, first. Right. You know? so, yeah. so, so what do you say to that person out there that's just intimidated to come in? We, we definitely get that a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that a lot of people think that you have to be in shape to do CrossFit. And I'll tell you what, CrossFit is humbling for the person that's in shape, and it's humbling for the person that's out of shape. It's going to it's going to be challenging for you. I don't care who you are. Right. So this, it's just not the case. I think there's plenty of us that um, went in there thinking that we were in pretty good shape and, and 
it just you know it, it humbles you like yeah. I said but we have ways to scale pretty much every movement that you do so if you don't know things that's we have this program called elements that's the first two weeks of um, bringing new members in so what we do is we take them through fundamental movements of CrossFit in each session then we follow that up by um, taking them through a modified CrossFit workout so it's a little bit shorter a little bit easier than a regular workout would be and um, that teaches them how to scale their workouts because th our workouts are scalable, universally scalable for load and intensity. So everybody does the same workout, but for instance, if you can't toss a 20 pound metal medicine ball, sure we'll, gi we'll, give you, we'll give you an eight pounder toss. How much can you bench? It's okay. Yes, so when you bench, bench, Liz, how much can you bench? <laughs> Probably more than you. I bet you can. Uh, actually, bring, I heard. Bring in the bench. <laughs> I heard Bring you can bench 500. Rest. I heard back in the day you benched like 500. Oh man, at <laughs> least, at least with my with my fingers. Liz Higgins from CrossFit, uh, open gym today at, at 9:30. Yes, 9:30. Come on in. And you'll come back in and talk to us some more about CrossFit. Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you're inspired and you look good. Thank you. You, you look the part. That, that, that's pretty critical as well. Thanks, Todd. We'll take another quick break and continue to come back and talk about the new updated schedule for the tour of California Stage One. Stay with us.